Hello and welcome to round two of the Drivers Room Super Formula Championship. Let's see our grid 12 runners tonight. Fuji Grand Prix track. Here's Mount Fuji in the distance, shot taken from the game. Should be another interesting race. As we'll briefly take a look at the grid. In on pole is F1 SSD with racing soft tyres. In second is New Jogger with racing softs. Also Alex and Feared with racing super softs. Mongino, our first medium runner, in fourth. Muller is also our most of mediums in fifth. Desla on racing softs in sixth. Lorcas on racing softs in seventh. RS3 on racing super softs in eighth. V8 Vendetta on racing super softs in ninth. Motorev racing super softs there in 10th, it's a new entry. Flapjack has rejoined us and racing super softs in 11th. Bullet in 12th on racing softs and bringing up the rear is Daz on racing softs. It's a 30 minute race, 20 odd laps. And let's go for lights out. In the top corner you'll see on board from RS3 as we get ready to start. It looks busy. everybody's kind of got a clean shot. Oh no, Muller's gone. He had a technical problem at the beginning of the, um, the race. I'm lucky for him. And F1 has got a clean run into the first corner. Good start. Alex has gone wide there. Looks like everybody's got through. Pretty cleanly. He's going to this. Alex gone wide again, second time. Knocked a little bit there. I don't think he's anything too malicious. He's going for the long right hander down to the tight left hander to come down the back straight. Headed into the skein part of the trucks as RS3 has got to make a move on the inside of Mongino there. Didn't make it stick, he may lose a place with that because it looks like this one's on the side and Lucas goes a bit under the dirt and loses traction. So uh, see as it calms down a little bit what we've got. So F1 SSD is in the lead and he's looks like he's broke the slip stream already to knee jogger. Alex is fierce, being closely followed by Desla. Desla's in the slip stream here. He's going to get close enough to make a move going into turn one. And he pulls out and goes to the inside. He's got his nose ahead. Can he break and keep it on the inside? There's more going on behind as well. It looks like Mongino lost the position to V8 there as well. This is Leader of the second pack here is Moto Rev, followed by Bullet, Flapjack, Daz. It looks like Muller pulled a trying to go on the inside of him. Get a run on Locus there, maybe coming out of that corner. As we go through the chicane sections of the track, it's not really chicane, it's a twisty part they've added on. In my personal opinion, I think it ruins the track. But uh, there we go. So we're still looking at this second group, all pretty close together after two laps. As Desa looks to make a move on. Knee jogger. We'll come on board now. Somebody moving in the top corner, you'll see 
overtakes and stuff as I try to keep the action as action as possible. As you see some on boards from this particular fight. It's F1 from Knee Jogger, followed by Deza, followed by Alex. It's like Alex is pretty close this time to Dez. Can he make a, a move going in, in the slipstream? V8 doing well. RS3 there, three cars going together for the final part of this game section. Longino on racing mediums. Classified by the bullet on the racing softs. They're all pretty close here. So, Moto Rev as he tries to make a move, is he going to get close enough? Doesn't look like it, there's another move going in the background as... Looks like Bullet's got the inside of Mongino. Muller's on his outside as well, going down to turn two. And he gets through, Mongino drops two places there. Daz goes wide. This is now for this corner, which is cost, going to cost him on the exit. You think he might lose a place here. No, he's got a good run and he's got past Mongino. Start and finish again, the slipstream start battle will start again soon. It's also in Alex and Fourth. Battle here, I think from Moto and RS again. Now it's three, he's kept the position by the looks of it, but he's gone rather narrow and defensive into the first corner. Bit of wheel banning there. Bullet in eighth. Flapped out there. Followed by Locus and Daz. And Gino's dropped off the back here. F1 and Knee Jogger seem to have pulled a gap here to the rest of the field. It seems to be spreading out, I see all over the front. The battle seemed to be in this second group. Moto Rev is right into the tailpipe, as the Americans would say. And this battling is allowing Bullet to maybe latch onto the back of the both of them so Moto Rev, this is the third time he's tried this, he's got the inside this time is he going to make it stick coming into turn one looks like he has, oh looks like Mother Got past flapjack there, under braking. So there's Alex in fourth, V8 in fifth. RS in sips, like a, a bit of a cork and a bottle, maybe for. Moto Rev, been battling for two or three laps here, and he's just Moto Rev has just not managed to get it to stick. Bit of lag there, RS. I 
That's not going to do much good for Moto Ev's confidence because he doesn't know where the car he's trying to overtake is actually is. The weaving has cost him there. Trying to break the strip seam weaving all over has not gained him any time in the slightest. As flat track was to go on the inside of Lorcus, going to turn two, not made it stick. Please, Mongino seems to be saving fuel and going deep. Ujogo in second place, Dezo in third, Alex in fourth. This, uh, this is really lagging now. Moto have seen so got past him. There's Bullet, Muller in ninth, flat back in tenth. All close together this second group. Is Lucas going to get the run on flat jack here? See the red lights go up as they use some overtake with the boost button. He moves out, is he going to make it stick on into turn one? He now seems to gain a little around. There's our leader, F1. Got away cleanly. And he's putting the lap times. Knee jogger. Tesla in the right Red Bull. Alex there in fourth. V8 in fifth. Motor Rev in sixth. Alice 3 in 7th, Bullet in 8th, Muller in 9th, Fat Jack in 10th, Lucas 11th, Glossy followed by Gino, Daz has seemed to have slowed there, but is, you can see the lead F1's pulled out. Motor Rovers, I pass his bottle as he ride on board with Muller. In the strip scene of Bullet. Visor eye view. If he looks to pull out, is he close enough? No, not this time. We ain't with a little bit of lag there. It's like Moto Rev is gaining on him ever so slightly. It looks like Bullet has got past RS3. We missed that one. Lorcas has dropped a couple of places. He must have had an issue. Miss is now running 13th. Lorcas in 14th. Elfon, knee jogger. Deza, our top three. He's completing that 10. His V8 starts, goes in for the pits for the first pit stop of the, the race. Looks like Bullet's gone in as well. Another's gaining on RS3.
Flapjack, Gold Worm and Gino and Daz. That bullets come out of the pits and mediums. Dads are his tyres a shot. Alex is usually bad on tyres, his tyres are in tires in a lot better state. And so are moto revs, even though they're on a softer compound. Alex's three tyres are going and it's gone right there. All oh, that lag. It was, I couldn't get past him, I didn't know where he was on the track and it cost me quite a bit of time, sat behind him because of that as he goes into the pits and there's a big sigh of relief of the, the night there, it's, it's a lot of the racing super soft runners have gone in Mongino is on most mediums, tyres in a good state Daz, tyres has passed it pretty much I expect him to come in in the next lap it's around half race distance. This dust goes wide there, the understeer of the tyres. V8 is running a good race there, solid race. Motor Rev, also another solid race. It's our leader, he completes lap 12, his tyres are going, his fuel's getting a bit low, I think he'll go in, his second place knee jogger has, his third place and, just like, yep, third and fourth are in, knee jogger's saving a lot of fuel with 16% compared to the the two others, Leave him in good stead. His mother comes through, followed by Mongino, the two medium race winners. His mother gone into the pits, I think he's peeled off, and the jogger has gone through. Bullets being chased by him, but I think that's RS3 there. Pulls out of the slipstream, takes the inside line. Snapchat goes through, and others come out in 12th. Das is in the pits. Look at the bullets. Fighting with our S3. Looks like he's lost a bit of ground going through that section. And he's fine to get down our S3. He's got close tents of locus behind him as well. As his mid pack battle is our S3 completely ghosts out there. Bullets lost it under power, his back end kicked out, and Lucas managed to get through. It's probably the distraction of RS's car which goes back. Would have been the slightest. <laughs> I think the spirit of racing is you only move across once. I know under the rules, under braking, you can only move once, but. Anyway, what's going on with the races? It's like a battle here between Locus and Flapjack. To come down the back straight into the tight right-hander. 
Oh, no. it's like fat jack's gone deep and fish tailed the car around, managed to keep control of it. Did not lose too much time. The is a lot smoother, but wasn't close enough to capitalise on that mistake. Got a bit deep on the exit there. He needs to get a good run out of here because not only he needs to keep in the stream here, he's got Miller in the slipstream right behind him. You look from the rear wind there in the top corner. As the three cars come down together and Lucas pulls out on the inside to flat jack and just Miller try and take the inside as well. And he has done and he's followed Lorcas through for Flapjack loses two places in one go but Muller's gone deep into the next corner which is going to cost him. Now he's kept the place but he's in a side by side battle there and Flapjack has come back through well driven by Flapjack. Here's Flapjack now going to get the run and get the pace back from Lorcas coming down to the game. And it looks like he oh, tangled a little bit. Oh, Norcas has lost it and he's wiped Muller off. He's had a damage on his car. Norcas is on the fact now as he got damage as well. No. Bullet in his slipstream and Bullet got close enough by the end of the straight to start that 15. Yes, and Bullet's through. Nice move there by Bullet. His motor rev, it looks like he's gaining a lot now on V8. He may be running short of um, boosts as it's shining red as Mongino then drops the next Alex through on different racing strategies. No need for Mongino sensibly. That's Alex through to fight his own battle. Is Mongino going to come in? He still hasn't pitted. He's, um, Done well with the tyres. His V8 now moves it to fifth, goes through with Moto Rev behind him, and sips slowly, slowly latching on. And it's V8 is slow on the Harrison seventh, flat back and eighth. time coming through that protector one. Can he make a move come down this back straight? As Flapjack's gone a lot deeper into the corner. His mother undercuts him for the next corner. The red glow of the um, overtake button being used there. And mother makes the move before the start of the chicane complex and that got some traction there which has allowed Muller to break free. Mangina now is going to race in Super Sauce for the final stint. Bullock there in 11th, Daz in 12th, Lucas in 13th after he's off. I don't think he may have pitted again. Sure, F1 is the lead still. Not seeing much of the guys at the front because there's not much going on. They're all quite well separated. Seems to be in set of positions where there's dead since they lost a position to Alex somewhere. 
P8 makes a move on the inside there with Motorev. Oh, keeps his place so he was in front. To come down as a start finish that to the um, sharp slow hairpin. Motorev is too far back to make a look this time. But just needs to wait it out. He seems to have far more overtake left and boost than V8. If he can keep that close without losing his boost and let V8 use his, it will get him eventually. Let's come out the final okay now. He's got a better exit but too good of that's it because V8 was in the way but he's well into the slipstream here he should just pull out get the run down to the first corner he's going to stick it all depends who gets the best run there's a, a wheel to wheel around turn one still side by side great racing from those guys Muller's gone in the pits for the second time. We understand uh, and, uh, that he um, got his strategy on. He thought it was a 40 minute race. Okay. Desert there in fourth. That's him with Moto Evers in front of V8 here. Bit of a tap from V8. V8 that's Moto Ev regaining the position nice and fairly. Uh, it's three pretty much on his own in seventh. Bullet there in eighth now. And Gino in ninth. That's by Flatjack who's running low. And Daz and Muller after his second pit stop in twelfth. Wilcast in thirteenth. F1. A quick glimpse of the race leaders. This battle between V8 and Motorev. Motorev's had some good battles this race. It's intensifies but I think this time V8's got the run there's look on board in the top corner it's matching we missed it keep an eye on that top right hand corner Smogino looks to go on the inside of Bullock now we're going away from super soft tyres no fuel saving Dino gets eighth position. Dad's there in eleventh, mother in twelfth. F1 there, the leader as he comes out with a lap twenty. So knee jogger, awesome Alex and three, desert and fourth. V8 there in fifth, motor rev in sixth. Ooh, he's got sideways here. Magino in eighth, bullet there in ninth. That back in 10th. Muller in 12th, Lucas in 13th. We look at our leaders in the top corner, we've got a battle there. Looks like between Motorev and V8 in the top corner. Some onboard footage from Motorev. Tangled with Muller there. So we've got four 
42 seconds S and Medvedev has got past V8. Lost the position of Mongino, but it looks like Mongino's moves to 7th, we didn't catch that one. Will in 11th, Locus in 12th, Daz in 13th. And then the final lap of round 2 of the DRSF is F1 SSD. Great race, great victory. And here's the some action going in the top corner. And the job is second. Looks like it's Muller chasing down 10th place for the last points by position. The new jogger comes over the line to finish in second. Also, Alex in third. And Muller has got past Flat Jack. Better in fourth. Good race by the top four. Motor Rev, nice solid result, fifth. V8, good result as well, sixth, sixth place. Mongino, seventh. Just like Flapjack's been chased down as well, again. Ah, uh, three, eighth, ninth, pull it, ninth. Muller has got the last, got his trap into the points. Tenth, is Locus going to take it? No. Flapjack survives just on the line. 